Hi everyone, this is Neil Wright, a tech consultant, audiologist and director of ClearWax. Thank you for joining me in my latest video using the Waxscope. And we have here a patient who attended with bilateral, really occluding and impacted dark, sticky wax. And this is the patient's left ear that I'm commencing with. Um, if you stay tuned in their right ear, they have what we call a medial canal fibrosis or uh, more typically known as a false fundus, which is a pseudo eardrum, so a fake eardrum that develops um, secondary to either chronic otitis externa or if a patient's had otitis media, so middle ear infection with a perforation. Sometimes it can occur post-surgery um, or if the patient inflicts any trauma themselves into the ear canal, for example, using a, a cotton bud or a Q-tip or hairpin, whatever it may be. And essentially what a medial canal fibrosis is, it's a formation of granulation tissue, which is uh, inflammatory tissue, um, which typically occurs post-trauma. Um, and this granulation tissue has its own vascular supply, so it has its own blood capillaries. Um, and then it later matures into uh, thick fibrous tissue. And normally with a canal, uh, medial canal fibrosis, it develops deeper in the ear. Um, in the bony part of the ear canal and there should be a gap normally between the second um, pseudo eardrum and the patient's actual eardrum and if it's caught early and the, the, you've got kind of two stages you've got this kind of wet stage where this discharge uh, otorrhea uh, can sometimes be treated with antibiotics or steroids but once it dries and becomes fibrous um, it typically uh, occludes the entire ear canal and um, the only way then of removing it is by surgery uh, and putting a skin graft to kind of line the skin of the ear canal. So it's when you've got trauma to the skin on the, in the ear canal, you then get granulation tissue formation, which then matures into um, the thicker fibrous tissue. So um, now this there left ear is an extremely bendy, narrow, twisty ear canal. Um, and... In the past, I would use our smaller specular, 3.5 millimeter, but I'm finding that even with these really, really narrow ear canals and bendy ear canals, that even the medium-sized specular is actually doing the job. Um, so I've just put a lot of uh, olive oil spray here just to change the consistency because it is quite sticky. And hopefully you've kind of uh, seen the angulation of the air as I'm entering. You can see the bendiness, the narrowness. I'm just trying to lift it away from the canal walls. There is a thick, thin layer of skin here that's enveloped this wax and it's also adherent to the canal. So you can see I'm just going around where I can feel these adhesions. When you're performing the procedure, you can kind of feel where there's a bit of resistance. So I think I'm going to go to the bottom. Uh, maybe not, but we shall see. I'm just getting it refocused. And I'm going to lift it off the floor of the ear canal. So this wax is in the, in the inner third of the ear canal now. So we've cleared the entrance, cleared the midsections. This is quite deep. You can just see the second bend on the left-hand side, that piece of flesh. That's the second bend. That's about one third into the ear canal. So all this is beyond that. And you can see the, uh, the floor of the ear canal now as we get deeper. I'm just going to go to the top, peel this down. I don't want to embed the suction tip too much because it will uh, block the suction tube. It'll embed it. So I'm almost kissing the surface. I'm slowly bringing it away. So this is the first big, big plug. And I thought this will be the entire plug it was actually a little bit more, even deeper than this. Because if they've got this narrow bendy ear canal, the problem here is bringing this through this narrowness. So as I'm bringing it away, I'm kind of angling uh, the wax. So it, it goes around the bend. So that's the big plug. There's a second plug. This is a bit deeper. You can see it's almost hidden somewhat by the second bend on the left. So I'm going in. I'm going to remove this first. And then I'm going to angle my speculum in a moment to straighten and stretch the ear canal a bit more. So I get a more of a frontal view. So I'm going in. I'm just rotating my wrist slightly. Just going to get this more lateral piece of this plug in focus. This increased the exposure because it's... Uh, there's a bit of skin laterally and um, the ear was narrow. I just reduced the brightness a little bit to reduce any glare. But now that I'm further in the ear, I'm just increasing the brightness. So I managed to pull that away. Uh, I think it came away in one piece. 
So if you are a clinical ear care specialist and you're interested in the wax scope or indeed the endoscope, the eye clear scope, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk. So you can see we're stretching that ear, straightening it. There's a bit of wax on the anterior canal wall. Can leave that, but I'm just going to get that out for the patient. So just getting it in focus. This is probably about two thirds of the way into the ear canal. Just bringing it away. So you're going to now focus on the drum. So that's the hammer bone, that's the attic, past placida region, that's the past tense there. So you can see that the umbo, the centre part of the eardrum is somewhat um, indented inwards. It kind of, it, there's a little dimple there and it's that part of the, the eardrum or the umbo, the, cent the bullseye is what I call it. It's more medial, it's, it's, it's um, pushed in, that's the normal architecture of the eardrum. So this is their right side. This is the ear that they've got the medial canal fibrosis. Again, I'm just stretching open the entrance. I've put some oil in straight away because it's quite sticky. And what I want to do is just reveal the canal wall. Once I've revealed the canal wall, I know where to position the suction probe or more importantly, where not to position the suction probe. We don't want to touch the canal. So I'm just going around the edge, just peeling it away from the canal and I'm beginning to see some flesh there. So already I've got a much better appreciation of this patient's ear canal. I know where to put the suction probes. You can see I'm just gently hovering at the floor. I'm gonna go a bit more superiorly now and to the front of the ear canal. I'm slowly bringing it away. I'm just letting the suction do the job here. So I'm just hovering it and making these little movements which helps to dislodge some of the wax. So you can see we've got that layer out, so I'm going to get the deeper layer in focus in a moment and go a bit deeper. So the key is, is to get that right hand side of the specular inside of the second bend. So, and that helps you then to straighten and stretch the ear. Again, I'm just hovering over. I'm just going to the top and I'm going to get it the centre bit in focus again. So every time you move a bit, it's like an ENT microscope. So when you've got great magnification, your field of focus, the depth of focus is reduced. And that's, you, you can't, um, there's no other way. There's there's a, a trade-off between magnification and focus. So within, if I was using an ENT operated microscope, I'd be moving this big optical unit with my hand forwards and backwards. If I was wearing head loops, I'll be moving my head backwards and forwards. With the wax scope, we can adjust focus on the screen. Uh, you can either double tap for the autofocus or there's a slider. With an endoscope, the beauty with an endoscope is that you just put the endoscope forwards or back in the ear. So uh, fo I've never really had to adjust focus with an endoscope because that's because the lens is in the ear. So I've managed to bring this plug out. The patient was quite surprised how big it was. I, I didn't have the opportunity to take a picture at the end. I was just really busy in clinic. So this is their medial canal fibrosis. So as I said, it's a pseudo eardrum. I'm going to get it in focus for you. That's a thick fibrous tissue. It's quite deep in the ear. There should be a gap between that and the eardrum. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Take care, keep well, and speak soon. Bye.